there aren't too many telescopes that have a huge following, but Hubble isn't your usual telescope. Over the 25 years it's been operating up in space, Hubble has sent back millions of spectacular pictures that not only look great, but have taught us a lot too. Here's Eloise to wish Hubble a very happy birthday. Images like this have inspired generations and taught us more about our place in the universe. And they all came from one telescope sitting way above the Earth. It's called Hubble and has the ability to see things humans had never been able to see before. But how can it peer so deep into the atmosphere? Well, that's something the kids at this school can tell me all about. What are you up to? Oh, we're trying to observe Jupiter to observe its four biggest moons. Here at our school, we have a couple of telescopes that we use to observe objects in space. But they don't always work perfectly. The problem with telescopes on the ground is that when light comes through the atmosphere, the atmosphere changes the path of the light slightly, which is why when you look at the night sky, the stars twinkle. And that's why Hubble is so important. It's a telescope that lives up in space, which gives it some huge benefits over all the telescopes here on Earth. Up in space, there's a lot less what astronomers call light pollution. Light pollution is just like street lamps and car headlights. Light that doesn't come from the object you're trying to observe. And that makes it a lot harder to view something that's very far away. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched on the 24th of April, 1990. Ignition and liftoff. It was the world's most powerful telescope and huge too about the size of a bus. Scientists hoped Hubble would give them a clearer view of what existed beyond our planet. Here's how it works. Light travels in this end and hits the primary mirror here. It then bounces off onto a secondary mirror and onto some special instruments in the back that record the image and transmit it back to Earth. And the results were mind-blowing. For the first time, scientists could see the expanse of the universe. So through the Hubble telescope, you can see a lot of very cool things. Like, for example, something that has been named the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. NASA, who controlled the Hubble, pointed the Hubble at a small area of the sky that seemed to have no stars in it. They kept pointing the Hubble at this patch of sky for about a week. And the picture they came out with is now incredibly famous. And certain scientists have identified over 10,000 galaxies in that photo. But after 25 years in space, Hubble is starting to get pretty old, so it'll soon have to be replaced. Well, in 2018, a new tel space telescope is going to be launched called the James Webb Space Telescope. And that will allow us to discover many new things and possibly solve some of the great mysteries in astronomy and science in general at the moment, such as mysteries of dark energy and dark matter. But the Hubble will always be the first telescope to give all of us our first amazing glimpse of the universe we live in.